I have the virus that just keeps on giving. <laughs> Um, I'm not, I'm not feeling too, too bad right now. The problem is I did not sleep because around 10 o'clock last night, after the pharmacies had closed, congestion set in, I had tickles in my throat, I ended up spending most of the night sitting up, sipping hot water with lemon in it, <laughs> blowing my nose. I just could not sleep. I drifted off a couple times, but I'd be surprised if I got a combined total of three or four hours of sleep. I don't really know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's really not that bad, but without drugs, like sleep was not to be had. And I did stop at a pharmacy yesterday and I was tempted to get something. I just thought it wasn't necessary. But of course, by the time I started to feel it, it was too late. All the pharmacies were closed. So <laughs> I'm tired but I'll survive, it can't last forever. Um, today, I am headed north. I'm going to Mala Fatra, which is a mountain range. Um, and I think Mala, I'm pretty sure means little or small. So it's part of the Tatra mountain ranges, but um, it's the smaller part uh, north of here. I have a hotel for four days on the highway and I'm really hoping that the bus will allow me access to do some day hikes in the area. Um, so my train isn't until 1230 and I should be able, I, I should get there around three o'clock and I should be able to check into my hotel at three, maybe get some sleep and I'm going to head straight to a pharmacy now and pick something up to make sure that that sleep happens. Um, and I'm just really hoping like tomorrow I'll be better and I'll be able to do some hiking because I'm getting tired of just not feeling good, you know? Um, but yeah, um, that's it for today. It's really just going to be bus, train, check-in, sleep. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow there will be more. Pizza. Well, I didn't know what to do with my key when I checked out. Um, you need the key to get out of the building which seems like a bit of a safety hazard to me, but whatever. And I couldn't find anyone, and I knocked on a few windows, no reply, so I just left the key in the main door. And if you go to the pharmacies and the tourist centers, you get English-speaking people. Well, I am really tired. I'm not really thinking clearly, but I'm not sure that's an excuse. I think I'm an idiot because I bought these, sprayed my nose, opened this up, dropped one of these things on my tongue and felt the numbing and realized there's benzocaine in it. There's benzocaine in this too, which I'm allergic to. So now my tongue kind of burns and my nose kind of burns. <laughs> and since I opened them both, I can't take them back and they were expensive. Anyway, I got some... <laughs> I got some other stuff that doesn't have benzocaine in it, so an expensive mistake. Fingers crossed this will do the trick. So I'm heading into the train station, Lavana Stanica. Pretty sure I'm saying that completely wrong. Traveling here is kind of tough. Nobody speaks English or very poor English. Um, and my Slovak is bad. I know two words now. Um, I had trouble getting a ticket. I'm going to Zelina, however you say it, but I don't know what zone it's in. You have to know how many zones you're traveling through in order to buy a ticket. I couldn't find a zone map anywhere. The zone map I saw online only did buses. It didn't do trains. So I ended up standing in line and I got a ticket. And I don't know what train to get on. And Whatever he's saying. No. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I can barely keep my eyes open. The train ride was 
It was chaos. So I didn't reserve a seat because I didn't think it mattered, but there was no way to know what seats were reserved. So I had to move a couple times. No big deal. And then oh, two thirds, three quarters of the way into the trip, so many people got on and they all had huge bags like roller luggage, you know, like, oh, and uh, they just crowded the aisle with their bags, like from both ends of the train car, trying to get to their reserved seats. But in order to sit down in their reserved seats, people like me, quite a few people like me, had to get up and move. <laughs> there was no place to go because everyone was standing in the aisle with their bags. It took 10 minutes for me to like hop from empty seat to empty seat just to get to the end of the train car. It was chaos, it was absolute chaos. It was kind of funny, but it was chaos. And, uh, and then I just stood at the end of the car the rest of the way, it wasn't that much further. I will reserve a seat next time <laughs> just, to, just to avoid that, but it's, I think it's only a, a, an extra euro anyway, so. And I have still have one more bus ride. I'd, I would walk, but I just it's too far. It's not that far on a bus, but it's too far to walk. So I have another half hour to wait for it. I still have to figure out where to catch it. It's, I'm at the station, but I don't know. I don't know exactly which bus or where. <laughs> There's a big board over here I have to consult. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm really hoping I don't have any trouble checking in and just going straight to bed when I get to my hotel. I'm on the wrong bus. It's okay. It's going the right way. It'll stop where I want it to, but it's doing this scenic route and stopping in all these little towns. Take a little while longer to get there. When I got here, I had to make a quick dash to the grocery store before they closed because they don't open again till Monday. But with that done,